Your SSDI monthly checks will be ending at this age. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I do want to talk about SSDI, otherwise referred to as Social Security Disability Benefits, and when your benefits will be ending, otherwise known as converting for your specific situation. Now, this does not pertain to SSI, Supplemental Security Income, but rather this is specific to SSDI benefits. So let's get into it and discuss all the important details you need to understand. However, really quickly before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and I'm here for you right by your side each and every day watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the research and breaking it all down into these short videos as things continue to change very rapidly. We're getting new bills packaged and proposals out of Congress on a regular basis. A lot of things are changing as it is a very busy confusing and uncertain time. And again, which is exactly why I'm watching it and bringing it to you in these short videos every single day. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And remember, my promise and my dedication is to be here right by your side to help you out as much as I can every single day. And of course, I'm sticking to it. All right, thanks again. Let's get into it and talk about SSDI benefits, when your benefits will be ending slash converting for your specific situation. First off, did you realize that your SSDI SSDI benefits automatically convert? Well, it's true, and that's what I want to talk about here in this video because this may be a little bit concerning for some people who are SSDI beneficiaries thinking that your benefits will automatically convert. However, it's not necessarily something that you need to be concerned about, but certainly something you want to be aware of because at the end of the day, um, are these checks very important to you? I think we all probably agree, they're very, very important. In fact, these checks make up the vast majority of monthly income for the vast majority of beneficiaries. As of right now, there's just under 9 million SSDI beneficiaries across the entire country. And also, like I said earlier, this is not in reference to SSI, okay? SSI and SSDI are two very, very different programs. Even though they're similar, they're very different. And this is just specifically pertaining to SSDI, Social Security Disability Benefits. All right, so let me shake out all the details for you and let you know what this actually means because something you probably wanna be aware of, and I know for a fact, there are some of you here in the community that this does pertain to sooner than later, so we probably wanna be aware of this. Here's what it comes down to. If you are currently receiving SSDI benefits, your benefits will automatically convert to retirement benefits at your full retirement age. Did you realize that happens? It's true, it does happen and it automatically happens. You do not need to reapply, you do not need to call Social Security, you do not need to fill out an application. This will automatically convert from disability benefits to retirement benefits at your full retirement age. But wait, does that mean my benefits are going to be reduced? No, not necessarily, okay? Now again, I know that this can be a huge concern for a lot of people wondering if your benefits are going to be con uh, converted and reduced at the same time. Not necessarily. Let's talk through the details about that. All right, so your full retirement age is based on the year that you were born, okay? So basically, if you were born in 1954, your full retirement age is 66. You, all you have to do to figure out your full retirement age is add two months to your full retirement age for every year that you were born after 1954 out until the year of 1960, where the full retirement age is 67. For anybody born in 1960 or later, full retirement age is 67. So let's just say that you're approaching your full retirement age uh, sometime soon and you're receiving SSDI benefits. Your benefits will automatically convert into retirement benefits once you achieve your full retirement age, okay? So that's important to understand. Now, are your benefits going to be changing? No, in most cases, now obviously, there's always going to be some kind of exception to the rule, right? There's always an exception to the rule. But in general, no, your benefits should not change. In fact, there really shouldn't be a whole lot of differences at all when it comes down to your benefit administered and sent out to your bank account or your direct express card, wherever you get it each and every month, okay? So your SSDI benefit that you're currently getting right now, and depending on when your full retirement age is, again, your benefit will convert and then all it'll just automatically be the same dollar amount in most instances for most beneficiaries. Now, in some rare instances, yes, the benefit could be adjusted a little bit, but for most people, no, it's not going to adjust. It's just going to change that right away at your full retirement age, which by the way, full retirement age is not 
62, okay? So there's sometimes out there information that says, no, when you hit 62, your benefit will convert to retirement benefits. No, it won't. That is not full retirement age. Your full retirement age, whatever that happens to be, based on your year of birth, okay? So interestingly, um, just wanna bring that to your attention so we can all understand what's going on here. At the end of the day, I know we talk a lot about uh, about a lot of weird stuff here on the channel. And again, I'm bringing all this information to you so we can understand this. Now, here's the thing. Is Social Security kind of confusing? Yup, sure can be. Is Social Security a very complex topic? Yup, it definitely is. Is Social Security kind of confusing to understand all the parameters because what does Social Security administer? They administer Social Security retirement benefits. They administer Social Security spousal benefits. They administer Social Security disability benefits, SSDI. They administer Social Security survivors benefits. And they administer SSI benefits as well. There's a lot of different details. And guess what? The parameters on all of these benefits are very different. So depending on the type of benefit that you're receiving, the parameters around it are very, very different. Confusing? Yup, sure is, right? And then you got the conversions and all kinds of things like this, eligibility and earnings, uh, earnings limits and credits earned and all kinds of stuff like that, maximum amount of benefits received. I mean, the list goes on and on. It can be very complex. So either way, I wanna bring this to you because at the end of the day, the vast majority of SSDI and even Social Security retirement beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefit for a huge percentage or all of their monthly income. So it's probably pretty important. If we see a big change to our benefits and if something, the categorization of our benefits changes, we probably want to know about that as that is going to impact our benefits. It's going to impact a lot of different things and therefore we probably want to know, right? It's just like if you were out there working a nine to five job, 40 hours of work, something like that. And all of a sudden they came in and said, hey, we're changing the status of your benefit or your paycheck. Would you want to know about that? I certainly would, right? It's your money. That's why you're showing up to work. Are you showing up to work because you enjoy the job? I mean, I hope you enjoy it, but probably not, right? <laughs> you're probably showing up because you want that paycheck, just like everybody, right? Anyway, hope this one helps you out again. I'm here for you in any way that I can be. I want to break this all down for you so we can all clearly see what's going on here. And again, this is SSDI, two retirement benefits, converting at your full retirement age. So anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands upon thousands of videos here on the channel. And also share them with your friends, family, social media, because there's a lot of people out there that need to understand this information, especially right now, as so many people are filing for benefits every single day, 10,000 people are becoming eligible for Social Security on a daily basis. That's not weekly. That's not monthly. That's not every year. That is every single day, 10,000 people. It's a lot of people. Anyway, hope you're doing well. Again, thanks so much for joining me. Subscribe down below. Enjoy. Take care. Have a good one and catch you again later in the next video. I'll see you for now.